the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 23, verses 1 to 12. Addressing the people and his disciples, Jesus said, The scribes and the Pharisees occupy the chair of Moses. You must therefore do what they tell you and listen to what they say, but do not be guided by what they do, since they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy burdens and lay them on men's shoulders, but will they lift a finger to move them? Not they. Everything they do is done to attract attention, like wearing broader phylacteries and longer tassels, like wanting to take the like wanting to take the place of honor at banquet and the front seats in their synagogues, being greeted obscurely in the market squares and having people call them rabbi. You, however, must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi, since you have only one master and you are all brothers. You must call no one on earth your father, since you have only one father, and he is in heaven. Nor must you allow yourselves to be called teachers, for you have only one teacher, the Christ. The greatest among you be your servant. The greatest among you must be your servant. Anyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and anyone who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today's Gospel deals with some of the crucial areas of the teachers of the law which very often have a similarity in our own lives too. They preach, but they do not practice. How often do we love to advise goodness to others, but fall short of trying to be good ourselves? How often do we want the whole world to be changed, but reach nowhere in trying to improve ourselves? They love the places and the titles of honor and respect. How often do we seek the best places in the society, in the church, in our community and family? and try to make a show of our status. Today, can we make a reality check of our lives? And surely, we will all agree that we need the assistance, that we need the grace and assistance of our beloved Mother to be humble like our Lord. Amen.